wife of Joshua, a very simple, hard-working man. Joshua lives nearby town of Kent. Now let's get a sneak peek of Joshua's life. Joshua starts his day with a prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day and everything that you have done for my family. But there's still one thing I'm going to ask you, and you already know what it is. But we you in person. Joshua is now busy reading his newspapers. Ava, where's my coffee? I'm still waiting. Meet Joshua's wife, Ava. She is always concerned about Joshua and the two of their kids. Here's your coffee, Joshua. Thank you. Emma Jackson, wake up. Get ready for school. Good morning, Mom. We're leaving school now. Bye-bye. Your lunchbox, Joshua. Thank you. I'll see you in the evening. Have a blessed day. As evening came, after a long day, everyone gathered around the table. As usual, during this time of prayer, he says, Jesus, please come to my house. I want to see you. Immediately, he heard the voice calling. Joshua. Joshua, I'm coming to your house on Christmas. Thank you, Lord. Joshua was very happy. Immediately, he called his wife and children. Ava, kids, come here. My wish is finally going to come true. Jesus is finally coming to our house on Christmas. We need to decorate the house, and you need to start making some food. Daddy, Daddy, we have to make a big sign for Jesus. Let's decorate the house with the toys and lights. Uh, uh, I'll decorate my room for Jesus. I want him to see how cool my room is. Those are excellent ideas. Ava, you should start making some food. Yes, Joshua. I'll make salata de vinaigrette, mashed potatoes, salo. Maybe I'll make soup also. Oh, I'll make my favorite cake, spartak and fruit salad. Daddy, Daddy, we have to have a very nice coat for Jesus. I'm going to shop for all of us. And I need your credit card. <laughs> Yes. Joshua, let's invite your sister Grace to celebrate Jesus' birthday with us. She'll be thrilled to see him, him in person. That's a good idea, Ava. Call her. All preparations was ready, from beautiful house decorations to delicious food, and all of them were dressed in their finest clothing. Suddenly, the doorbell rings. Who's there? It's your sister Grace. I'm so happy you invited me to celebrate Christmas with you. Love your dress, Ava. And look at my two little angels. You look so fine. Grace, come in. Thank you for coming and spending Christmas with us. Waiting and waiting, it was evening. Joshua and his family were waiting, and suddenly the doorbell rings. That's Jesus at the door. I'll open it. As Emma opens the door and sees that there's a poor man standing at the door, all shivering cold. Sir, can I please come in? Can I please come in and warm up in your house a little bit? I'm so cold and hungry, please. Poor man, go away. We're waiting for a very important guest to celebrate us. Now leave us alone. Joshua shut the door and the poor man walked back into the cold night. Jesus, when are you going to come? And for the second time, the doorbell rings. That's Jesus at the door. I deserve to see him first. When Joshua opens the door and sees that there's a poor lady standing with a little baby. <laughs> Again, this disappointment. What do you want, lady? Sir, my baby's very hungry. Do you have any milk? Lady, I don't have no half and half milk. I don't have no chocolate milk. Now leave us alone and quiet that baby down. The poor lady walks away crying and Joshua comes inside. Joshua, when Jesus is coming to come, it's already late now. Foot is getting cold and kids are tired. I guess he won't come. Ava, don't be so negative. Jesus always keeps his promises. And for the third time the bell rings, Joshua jumps out of his chair and runs to the door. Who are you? I'm traveling to Bellevue and it's getting dark and I can't find a place for me to stay overnight. Could you please let me stay at your house for a night? I'm begging you. Listen up, stranger. Leave us alone. Joshua shut the door and walked back sad. 
Jesus, why didn't you come? Dad, when will Jesus come? Suddenly, Jesus called. Joshua. Who's there? Joshua. Lord, where are you? We've been home all day waiting for you. Joshua, I came to meet you. When did you come, Lord? We've been home cooking and cleaning this whole time. Joshua, I came to your house three times, and you did not help me. What? Lord, when did you come? I came like a beggar, asking for clothing to wear, and you did not clothe me. I came like a woman, with a baby, asking for milk, and you did not feed me. I came like a stranger, asking for a place to stay for a night, and you did not provide shelter. Oh Lord, please forgive me, only if I had known. Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of them, the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Amen.